Hi, I am Themblin and I'm a boy gamer. Today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you what I've been playing lately. Not really hardcore, just a little bit every day. That is World of Warcraft. It's a massively multiplayer online RPG role playing game. I've been playing since it first came out. Not Probably not the day of, or maybe the day of, I don't remember. But I just remember going to a circuit city and finding a copy on the shelf. And I was like, holy crap. I've been looking forward to this game. Not like really religiously looking forward to it. I just knew that it was coming in the back of my mind. And I was debating inside whether or not I should get it. And I did. You know, when you go to a store and you physically see something, you might not buy it if it was online, but having it physically there at a store makes it all the more tempting. So I bought it that day. The first character I made was this human female warrior. You can see I only played her up till level 35 and then I stopped. And then I got a second wind with not okay, let's go to a different realm. This was my second character. I had a friend and he made a warlock, undead warlock, so I made an undead priest. We played together for a little bit, but I stopped playing this character. And then his two brothers started playing. Then it became really serious, so I made this character. Now this is not the original character. I regretfully changed him to a gnome and then I changed him back and I didn't know what he looked like. Plus they changed the models of all the races so I really can't get what he actually looked like. I tried my best. So I kind of regret doing that. I guess I could ask Blizzard if they have a record of his old self, but not going to do that. So this is the character I played up to level 60 in Classic WoW. Yeah, I was... I played a tank. I mean, you had to if you're a warrior. Even if you didn't like tanking, you had to tank. So we got to Molten Core, Blackwing, Blackwing Lair. We tried... Ankirage 40, AQ 40, but I don't think we beat the first boss. So the farthest we got was Nefarian. I don't think we beat Nefarian, but I think we got up to him. I don't, I don't know. I think we beat Nefarian when the pre-Burning Crusade patch came out. Everyone got buffed, so I think we were able to beat Nefarian. After that, when Burning Crusade came out, I wanted to try something new. There was a lot of guild drama and I was in the middle of it. So I didn't so this character reminded me too much of all the drama and all the all the bad blood. So I started my Blood Elf Paladin. Retribution. Eventually I started healing in PvP and in raids. Nowadays I don't raid anymore. I don't even do dungeons. I just do world world quests and let me sh this is one of my main characters right now so you see how I put him at the top of my list I would say he is my main Raki my Tauren warrior used to be my primo number one main but then it became Progis which stands for protector of justice Raki means raging quake so I put those two words together so let's show you I'm really proud of the transmog I got on him. So you got, I farmed the Untamed Blade so long from Razor Gore and Blackwing Lair. I used to actually have this weapon in Classic WoW, but I deleted it before, well, I probably sold it to a vendor before transmog was in the game. So I had to re-farm it. it. Took me so long. I farmed all of, not all of, but like six or three months worth of legion and i couldn't even get it i farmed during maybe pandaria 
A Warlords of Draenor. Yeah, I did some farming in Warlords of Draenor. I couldn't get it. I finally got a, this expansion. So I was very happy about that. Okay, I'll show you the Voltrans Mog. Because that's what I keep playing this game for. All the playing dress up with my character. That's really all that lasts. You can always try to be the best or one of the best in the world or your server. But that always resets after a new expansion. So I really I'm not really competitive anymore when it comes to anything PvP, PvE. So how I transmog this character was with the Ulduar 10 man set, I think. Let's recheck. Valorous Aegis. Ulduar. Yeah, it com comes from the 10 player set. It has this white and gold look. I really like it. With some light blue highlights. Apparently, this. So, this is a dress or robe or whatever. It's still called plate. And it. Isn't that amazing? Maybe the bottom is cloth and the top is plate. I think it's the chest plate. No, it's the pants. So these pants or leg plates, apparently they made, they're made of plate, you see right here. Which is completely illogical, but that's the beauty of video games. And with my cloak, It's a Wrathful Gladiator's Cloak of Victory. I like how it's blue and gold. So, I like this red, white, and blue look. The mount I use is Tyriel's Charger. This was a gift for getting a Diablo 3 annual pass. I forget what that actually means anymore. But it had something to do with Diablo 3. And I don't think you could get any get it anymore. I like how it looks. See how Tyriel was an angel in Diablo, in the Diablo series. So it's a very angelic looking thing. But that's how I wanted to dress it. Look how it matches my outfit. As white and gold and dark blue i have blue and light blue and paladins are kind of an angelic kind of class you know how they do holy magic even retribution paladins can heal a little bit so i like i like that little bit of role playing aspect that i can do So that's my paladin for you, and this is the last character I'll be showing. I always wanted to make a gnome warrior. I think Torin warriors are really cool because they're the biggest class, biggest race in the game, but it's sometimes really inconvenient and it looks bad. So what I mean is that sometimes you won't fit in doorways. And I think most doorways are designed to fit Torrens at at the least but if you're mounted up a lot of times you can't fit so you have to dismount so that's very inconvenient and when you even ride a mount I'll show you how how terrible it looks when Torrens ride mounts because it feels like the mounts should be riding the Torrens the Torrens are so big and the mounts are so narrow you'll see what I'm talking about Let's look at, let's talk about a horse. He's, I'm going to show you how weird it looks to ride a horse. Look how wide I am. Look how narrow the horse is. It doesn't look good. I, the horse should be riding me. And even, even flying mounts. It's a little better, it's a little wider. It still doesn't look that good. That's why I'm a very 
aesthetically sensitive person so if something doesn't look good it doesn't make me feel good so that's why I have to wear I mean right Kodos because they're actually wider than Torrens so they look good it looks it looks logical so problem is look how high the torrent is can I even fit through I guess but sometimes you can't sometimes the doorways are too too sh too short and that's why I have to use Rider Dragon or, or an albino drake because this is really wide and it looks looks okay for a torrent to be riding a big dragon like this now that's one of the reasons why I stopped playing this warrior because of the aesthetic reasons now I know that torrent warriors look cool when they have a big weapon they're really big they're very they're very menacing they're ve they can be very intimidating especially if you play PvP not nowadays because people play with the camera all the way zoomed out but back in the day when you couldn't do that now let's see my gnome warrior let's get to a place with more light so you might be wondering why am I wearing the might set well it's not really the full might set but I really liked how it looked you know most I know that the heirlooms you have the might set so you see a lot of people when they're leveling they wear might and you might be thinking I don't want to look like a person that's leveling but I don't care I just like how it looks I'm I'm from classic WoW so I never actually got the full might set I never got the helmet because I got the wrath helmet from Onyxia and that was better so I never put on the helmet I never got it either I think tanks who were below me got the helm of might I didn't plus it looked bad on Torrens it looked like a dog collar see how the helm of the helm of might looks really good on every other race besides Torrens and I don't even have the full might set yet so I'm running molten core every Tuesday trying to get it the ones I do have is I think I have three or four pieces yeah I have the helm of my pauldrons the breastplate and the gauntlets so one of the problems with molten core is or the tier one set is that two items drop off trash I think they could drop off bosses too but mostly they drop off trash so you have to beat the trash you can't just go to the bosses so that's kind of annoying these two drop off bosses so I hope eventually I get this before my subscription runs out F for my weapon I, you know how gnomes are the smallest race in the game along with goblins so I wanted my warrior to have the biggest weapon she could carry and this is a she I, I made her a she because I liked the way her hair looked and she was cuter than the male so all the male faces were kind of not cute enough or cool enough so I chose the female but I gave her short hair because the long hair were clipped through the helmet and everything so it looked bad and here is the sword I gave her I think it's it's called Armageddon here it is Armageddon see how big it is and if you Even if you just look at this list, you can see how big it is by the picture. 
Armageddon. So even from the picture, you can tell how this goes all the way to the corner and past it. So you can see how. So this this is a long sword as well. But the hilt is really long, and the blade isn't that long. So from what I could tell, Armageddon was the longest sword I had available. And this, this looks really cool, but I wanted my paladin to have it and be unique. And I wanted a new look for my gnome warrior. I gave her a, I tried to follow the color theme for might. So you have white and gray and this purpley bluish look. And you could see how the sword kind of matches the might. It's more of a, you have a purple and gray. It's a very stone-like, silvery-like look. And same with the cloak. It's kind of green, but I liked how it had the silver stone-like look. And my mount is the same way. Mount has a white, silvery, and a very pointy look. You know how might is all about spikes. Spikes on the shoulders and the helmet. And this is why I picked this mount. You have to buy this mount from the store, from the shop. So I actually paid real money for this mount, which I'm not proud of, but look how beautiful the mount is from Pandaria so that's my so that's my World of Warcraft stuff for you I hope you enjoyed my video thank you for watching and have a great day